I think they're good results by, by any standard, but uh, clearly a big improvement on where we were in 2010. Uh, and, and achieved these results uh, you know, against the background of a very high fuel price, which is something that uh, you know, the airline industry can really do nothing about. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pleased. Uh, still a lot of work for us to do, but good set of results for 2011. I think fuel is structurally higher than it ever was. Uh, we're looking at a, a, another very significant increase in 2012. So our fuel bill went up by almost 1.2 billion euros. We're looking at you know, broadly a similar increase in 2012. And there's, there's really nothing we can do about that. We can hedge our fuel costs in the short term. But really all that does is give you some time to adjust other aspects of your cost base. Um, it doesn't actually protect you from these significant increases in oil prices. If, if you look at it, our fuel costs have gone up significantly. Uh, so if our total cost went up by 8.8%, but that was almost uh, you know, all down to the increase in the fuel price. If you look at our non-fuel unit costs, so we've seen the benefit of adding capacity, our non-fuel unit costs went down by 5.6%. Uh, but our fuel unit cost went up by uh, almost 22%. So, you know, it, it really is a, a fuel issue and not all industries face, uh, you know, these increases in the same way. Ultimately, every industry does because energy prices, you know, do flow through to just about every industry that I can see. Maybe the oil industry is the only one that benefits from it. Uh, but that's really the story of 2011. I think it's going to be the story of 2012 as well. One of the reasons why we've actually, in our results this time, or for the analysts, we've separated out the performance of British Airways in Iberia to demonstrate the different challenges that the airlines face. Uh, and clearly the Eurozone crisis is something that's impacting uh, particularly hard on uh, Iberia. You know, you've got a weak Spanish economy, uh, you've got uncertainty in the uh, European market, which is a big part of Iberia's uh, business. It's impacting on British Airways as well, because uh, Europe is a big part of the BA business as well. Uh, but this uncertainty in the Eurozone is clearly a, a drag on all businesses. I think it really is down to uh, political leaders now to show some true leadership and get control of it. You know, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised you could say shocked that uh, they haven't uh, got it under control. Um, they've certainly had enough time to do so. So we need some stability in the Eurozone. Uh, we need to see the markets relaxed about the recovery in the Eurozone. Uh, and that will help uh, the recovery in Iberia.